All right, so you guys are probably familiar with the Adidas Night Jogger with Adidas Boost technology on it. This is a really great looking model. I love the look of this shoe. I think it's been a sleeper since it's released basically, but you can get them on sale for pretty good prices well under retail. But did you guys actually know that they have a day jogger as well? I didn't even know they had a day jogger model. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we got. What is going on guys, Hess here. Hopefully you guys are having a good day out there. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well to be notified of when my videos are live. And if you're down there messing around, hit the like button as well. It is much appreciated. But today I bought a pair of sneakers uh, per your guys' request. This is a, a pair of shoes that I didn't even know was a thing. Like I was actually looking through Adidas website, trying to post some sale deals for you guys. And, uh, and I found a pair of these. I was like, whoa, somebody left a comment about a day jogger months and months ago. And I was like, I didn't even realize that this is what they were talking about. I just thought it was just a random comment. But uh, yeah, so they have a new day jogger model that totally went under the radar. In fact, you can get these for so incredibly cheap as well. I got them for I think 60 something dollars, but I think retail is like 120 on this. But I gotta say at first glance, I really like the look of the model. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a nice little contrast. You have the night joggers and then you have the day joggers. And there's some things that are familiar from the night joggers and there's some things that are obviously totally different uh, from the uh, the day joggers. But all in all, I think this is a pretty cool looking model. So I'll compare both of them. But, um, but my first look at the shoe, I'm like, man, it looks really pretty nice. I wish they had better colorways available. The best colorways I saw were actually in women's, not in men's. However, I wish they had a little bit more of a selection. One of the things that I really like about the day joggers that is very similar to the night joggers is the amount of different layers that they have on the shoe. They have a bunch of different layers all over with a bunch of different materials. You have a felt like material across the big toe and then a fused material right underneath that. A diamond shaped mesh across the toe box and then you have almost a neoprene material that comes up the other side of the shoe and then locks down the bottom parts of the laces with a little bit more fused material on the bottom of the tongue as well as on the three stripes. Under the three stripes you have more of that diamond shaped a mesh. As you work your way back, you have this plastic cage that sticks out in really bright orange and it's kind of a cool little shape to it as well. And then underneath that you have some of the synthetic suede looking stuff or the felt material or whatever that is. This heel counter goes all the way around the back of the shoe as well and the boost actually sticks out and upwards. It has a little bit of an angle uh, versus the night joggers. Comparative to the night joggers, the boost on the back is a little bit bigger but also again it protrudes up and out a lot more. So it's a little bit more of an aggressive design, which I like, a little bit more aerodynamic. For some reason, this shoe reminds me of a Porsche. The tongue is probably one of the things that separate it the most from the night joggers, and probably one of my least favorite changes to the shoe, and, and that's because you don't have that raw edge nylon tongue. I like the raw edge nylon tongue on the night joggers because it gave it more of a futuristic retro sort of feel. This tongue is a little bit too futuristic feeling, and also it's a little bit rough to the touch. So I don't know if you can hear this. So that might bother people that are wearing these with no socks, but obviously if you're wearing socks, just fine. So as you work your way down to the boost midsole, you can see you have a pretty good stack of boost through the forefoot of the shoe. Then it kind of goes under and curves around uh, through the back of the shoe and it's pretty felt on feet. And then as you work your way to the back, you can see it kind of protrudes out a little bit, but then there is rubber from the bottom of the outsole that kind of comes up and it leaves kind of a circular cutout right there, which I think looks pretty cool. As you can see, the traction has a bunch of cutouts. I like the little extra splash of color on the side of the shoe though. It definitely uh, brings it back to the theme. But all in all, I think it's a pretty cool looking model and especially for like 60 bucks, like super steel. It's a nice new modern Adidas Boost model that nobody, as far as I know, has really even talked about. Except for you guys out there that left a comment, shout out to you guys. But as a fan of the Night Joggers, the Day Joggers is a nice little compliment to that. It's a totally different shoe, obviously a ground up different build, but I do like that it has multiple layers on the upper, similar to the Night Joggers. Obviously the Adidas Boost is a plus as well. And they're both just kind of different uh, retro-ish sort of futuristic vibes to the shoes. So for my opinion, I mean, this is an easy pickup for 60 bucks. If you can get it at that, I'll link them in the description. And actually, as I'm doing this video, you can get them for $60 right now in a new colorway that I haven't even seen. It's kind of a bluish black colorway, pretty nice. So for the fit, I would say true to size, they fit me just fine. And then also they are a little bit wide foot friendly. As you can see, the base is pretty ridiculous. Adidas is actually pretty good about that. A lot of their shoes can be wide foot friendly, which is a, a nice plus. I think the Night Joggers is also the same way with a huge base on the bottom of the shoe. But anyways, that's my thoughts on the Night Joggers. In my opinion, a great budget buy if you guys are looking for something under 60, 70 bucks. 
uh, a great option. Also, if you guys didn't see my channel, I did a review of the Adidas Ultra Boost 5.0. I have a bunch of different Adidas Boost sneakers on the channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, check them out if you guys haven't. But have a good rest of the day. Hopefully you guys are doing well out there and we'll see you hopefully back for some more videos. Peace guys.